Assalamu alaikum students. Um, today I am here with a new chapter, Fiber and Plant Foods. Let's begin. Fruits and Vegetable Structure, which is composed of tissue system and various types of cells. The structure of a tissue system can be divided into uh, three further different systems, which is dermal, vascular, and gram system. Then you can see the dermal system have epiderm, ep periderm, and hypoderm, while the vascular system has xylem and phloem. Parenchyma cells, parenchyma cells, and sacrema cells are the um, cells that are included in gram system. The tissue system in fruits and vegetables can be seen in this picture, where the dermal uh, tissue is uh, in green color, which is covering most of the outer part of the plant then is the vascular tissue system and then you can see the gram system which is also present inside the dermal and vascular system so the dermal system is actually the outer protective covering on fruits and vegetables it undergoes changes during development and maturation of the plant but the protective function remains constant these include leaves, roots, stems, flowers, fruits, and seeds. What are the functions? Like our own skin, the dermal layer of a plant, it is the first line of defense. Basically, it protects against damage to the plant itself. Epidermal cells. These are the layer of cells that provides a continuous outer protective coating for fruits and vegetables. As you can see in the picture, it is present in the <clears throat> upper side of the mass structure of a plant uh, right after the cuticle. The epidermal tissue function is prevention of water loss and it acts as a barrier to fungi or other invaders. Basically, the protection ke liye, uh, evilly cells ki formation hoti hai. Thus, epidermal cells are closely packed with little intercellular space. To further cut down on water losses, many plants have a waxy cuticle layer is deposited on top of the epidermal cells. As you can see, the layer of cuticle, after that, there is a upper epidermal. What is periderm? It is a layer of cork-like cells protecting a continuous outer covering for fruits and vegetables. Its main function is to protect the underlying tissue from dissection, freezing, heat injury, mechanical destruction, and disease. What is hypoderm? It is a layer of cell beneath the epiderm cell. It may be strengthened to provide protection or may store water. You can see above is the epidermis, then dermis, and then hypodermis. Again, protection provides the plant structure. In vascular system, vascular system the plants go to have water or those two nutrients they supply just uh, may xylem or uh, phloem shamil hai. Jo xylem vessels hai, what do they do? The main function is to transport the water and some soluble nutrient, including mineral and inorganic ions, upwards from roots to rest of the plant. Okay, or ye kya hota hai? They are the vessels that have thick, uh, strengthened cellulose cell wall with a hollow lumen. And the walls of the xylem vessel contain holes uh, called pits through which water enters the plant. So xylem is mainly responsible to transport water. Then is phloem. The function of phloem is tissue is to transport food nutrients such as sources and amino acids from the leaves and to all other cells of the plant by the process known as translocation. So they are long tubes that runs alongside the xylem tissue. They are made of long narrow tubes with perforated seed plates along the length. It also helps in the transportation of food and nutrients. Now the ground system. Bulk of the edible part of the plant foods, it consists of parenchyma cells, which is predominant type of cells in fleshy part of fruits and vegetables. Then, colon cells, 
It is also called supporting tissues because it contributes to the overall structure of the edible parts of growth containing parenchyma. Then, cellrichema cells, unique supportive cells with a chewy fibrous character. The three types of cells can be differentiated easily with the help of this diagram. Parenchyma cells ka thoda sa structure bataya gaya hai. Um, as you can see in the picture also, there is middle lambella, which is the region between adjacent cells that cements the cells together, composed of mostly of pectic substances. Then is plasmella, which is a thin membrane between the cell wall and the interior of the cell. Then is the mitochondria which is an organism in cells involved in respiration and other biochemical processes. Plastid, organelles in the cytoplasm that contain pigments or starch. Chloroplast, which is a type of plastic containing chlorophyll. Chromoplast, type of plastic containing carotenoid. Leucoplast, these are the type of plastic in which starch is formed and deposited in granules. Sonoplast is in membranes separating the protoplasm from the vacuole in the parenchyma cells and then the vacuole. Vacuole is the portion of the cell containing most of the water, the flavoring components, nutrients, flavonoids, pigments. What function is? It provides a route of exchange for material within between xylem and phloem. Examples are potatoes. Another cells are parenchyma cells. These are elongated cells with irregularly, irregularly thick cell walls that provide support and structure. Thick cell walls are composed of the compound, cellulose, and pectin. What are the functions? Serve growing parts of the plants such as shoot and leaves, both by providing support and by filling in vacant spaces that will be used for later growth. Examples are fibrous strand of celery. Scranchyma cells, wood like cells that contribute somewhat a cricket texture to some plant food. Scrubrides and fibers have thick cell walls containing lignin, a wood like compound. Examples include pear, guava, and apple. So, the grittiness of their uh, structure is due to these cells. What are sclerites? Types of sclerima cells that give the gritty texture to pears and certain other fruits. Also known as stone cells because there is no intercellular spaces between cells which provides them great hardness. 